Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to move your number from one Metro phone to another phone for free. I'm gonna show you how to utilize their uh, online system to avoid having to pay the switch fee. Uh, one disclaimer, in order to do this, you will need to switch to a phone that was purchased at Metro by T-Mobile. If you're trying to switch to a phone that was purchased outside of Metro, then this process will not work for you. You will need to dial 611 to speak to customer service directly, or you will need to go into a Metro by T-Mobile store. Uh, but for those of you that are switching from uh, one Metro by T-Mobile phone to another Metro by T-Mobile phone, follow this process to avoid paying the fee and get your phone switched from home. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you'll need to do is find your My Metro app. It looks like this. Now, if you don't have the app, no problem. You can just simply go to the Play Store and do a quick search for My Metro. But again, if the phone was purchased at Metro, you should have this app on your phone. Just type in My Metro in the Google Play Store, and there is the app right there. So just go ahead and download this app first, and then you'll be able to follow the steps in the video. So My Metro, we're gonna go to Account and then tap on switch phone. And the first thing it'll ask you is um, the phone you're trying to switch to, which in this case is this phone, they're asking is the phone locked by another carrier? So as in, if you got it from AT&T, Verizon, a different provider, um, then you won't be able to use this process. So keep that in mind. However, if it was an old Metro phone that you were using in the past and you'd like to switch back to it, then it should be pretty easy for you to make the switch. We're gonna tap, no, it's not locked. And then it's gonna ask, are you gonna use the same SIM card? So the SIM card we have in this phone, and yes, we are. We're gonna hit yes. And next you'll need to enter the IMEI of the new phone. Now to do that, you'll need to go to the new phone, which we have right here, hit the phone button, or at the bottom, hit the keypad, and you need to type in star pound zero six pound, and that's gonna show us the IMEI of the phone. I'm gonna enter it now, pound. So here is the IMEI. It'll look different depending on the phone you're switching to, but look for the one that says IMEI. For this phone, it's right here, and I'll need to input that number on the screen here, and I'm gonna do that right now. Now you won't need to enter the backslash and the last two numbers, just all the numbers up to the backslash uh, and then hit continue. And then it says, we'll try and switch your phone now. As we transfer your service, you'll no longer have data on this phone. So you'll need to make sure your other phone is on Wi-Fi. So they're saying for, um, um, you can make sure, let me see, once you switch to Wi-Fi, click continue. So, oh, excuse me, on this phone, you will need to just swipe down from the top and make sure that your Wi-Fi icon is turned on and you're connected. Um, if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can still do it. Um, you'll just need to pop out your SIM card immediately and put it right into this new phone here. So let's hit continue. And now they're gonna attempt to do the switch. So we'll give it a second. Now while, that's, uh, while the switch is happening, you'll need to do one of two things. Find the box that you bought the phone with, and you should have this little tool inside, it's called a SIM tool. This is gonna help us take out the SIM card from the old phone and put it in the new phone. Or if you don't have this anymore, no problem, just find a paper clip and bend it back so you can use that to switch the SIM cards. Here we go, it says phone is validated, almost there. Now you'll need to pop out the SIM card and put it in the new phone and then restart that phone. So here we go, I'm gonna take that SIM tool and I'm going to insert it into the SIM slot and just one good push to pop out the tray. There we go. And we're gonna take that SIM card and now I'm gonna find the SIM slot on the new phone. It's also on the left. Not always on the left, but uh, very often it is. I'm just gonna give it a good push. 
take out the new tray, put in our SIM card, just like that. And then slide it in. It sometimes can get loose when you slide it in, so just keep that in mind. Okay. So it's in. Sometimes the phone will automatically trigger a restart, um, but I'm just gonna automatically restart it. Now to do this, you can just simply hold the power button and that'll take you to the, uh, the options for power and restart. And we're just gonna tap the restart button now and that will restart the phone. And it will take just uh, a minute or so for the phone to restart itself. And then we can see if our service has successfully switched over. But hey, we're almost there. And then once again, wanna reiterate, um, if you are switching to a phone that you purchased outside of Metro by T-Mobile, um, unfortunately you will need to dial 611 and either have a customer service operator help you, or you will need to walk into a Metro by T-Mobile store to have your service switched and it will cost you uh, around $23 for the switch fee along with the tax. So just keep that in mind. So one good sign here is that on the new phone, um, it just showed the uh, 5G icon and then it went away, but it showed in the corner. So what we're gonna do is swipe down and turn off the Wi-Fi, and you should see either the 4G or 5G icon in the corner here. And that would tell you that the service is working. Another way to validate it is to make a test call um, or we can go to the My Metro app and see if uh, it's registering the service now and there it is. So now my service has been successfully moved over and now I can begin um, using this phone with that phone number. So that's it guys. That is the process in a nutshell of switching your service from home and avoiding paying that, uh, that switch fee. Um, hope you guys found this helpful. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if the video was helpful and let me know if there's any other uh, tutorials you guys would like to see around using the Metro service from your phone. So um, thanks for watching guys. Hit that like button, favorite and share the video and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care and as always, have a good one.